Uganda Bikers Association, an entity that brings together motorbikers, had until this week 45 members, with the late Jacobo Olanya being a prominent part of the grouping. The agriculture economist, lawyer and politician never hid his love for his huge bike. In 2020, clad in a leather jacket, helmet, hand gloves and boots, the former speaker made his way to parliament premises riding his BMW motorbike, a gesture that charmed many. He loved his bike. He rode a GS, GSC, uh, BMW uh, 1200, a very big bike. Uh, much big as he is. Though he loved to ride with his colleagues at Uganda Bikers Association, he was unable to continue with them when he took up the position of speaker due to his busy schedule as well as the strict demands required by protocol. But the few times that we rode with him from, uh, from town to Rubaga, we had a great time. Yeah, he's a very good rider, he's a soft-spoken guy, very uh, kind. Angela Semukutu, the president of Uganda Bikers Association, says the last time they rode with him was in 2020 as they extended help to disaster victims in Kasese. He's a very generous guy and uh, very supportive, I, I should say, of, of activities, especially those that uh, concern humanity. They have asked government to allow them to be part of the motorbike procession in memory of their colleague. From the airport, if we can be accorded that, we can uh, bring out our big bikes and we can escort the, uh, the hearse from Entebbe Airport to wherever they want us to. <laughs> Apart from his love for bikes, the former speaker was enthusiastic about keeping fit. He often had workout sessions with renowned kickboxer Moses Golola. When you go for squat, he could squat like 100 kilograms. When you go for bench press, he could push like 80 kilograms. But it's not a joking subject. <laughs> Golola says Olanya practiced what he preached by keeping time, but he was also generous. I could leave home at around 4.30 to, to, to drive faster so that I can reach at Munyonyo. Reaching at Munyonyo when he's, the Honorable is there. We could train, we could go around that pitch of Munyonyo five times. Today we learned that kickboxer Moses Golola had composed a song for Olanya during the National Resistance Movement chairperson campaigns in northern Uganda. I even sang for him a song for his campaign. Piero piano pieke, komero piano ruruti do, warimba dene moro pene ruruti do, warimba yano komarengo, komarengo do, nyaro piano pieke. You know, it was just a vibe to a vibe to boost what? To boost his campaign. Nobody at Kunda. NTV.